Elon Musk is looking for a new Twitter CEO. In October, Elon Musk bought the short message service Twitter for around 44 billion US dollars. Since the takeover, chaos has reigned at the online network. Now Musk himself wants to step down as CEO, but only on one condition, which is difficult to fulfill. Elon Musk wants to step down as Twitter CEO but only when a successor has been found. The owner of the short message service tweeted this on Tuesday. Should he find someone stupid enough, he himself will only lead the software and server teams. Twitter users had previously expressed a majority in favor of Musk's resignation in a poll initiated by Musk. However, there is currently little to suggest that Musk will quickly find a suitable candidate for the job. Either way, he is likely to retain great influence as owner. Musk had already warned before the vote that there were no interested parties capable of actually keeping Twitter alive. He himself had taken the top job as part of his roughly $44 billion purchase of the internet platform in October. However, Musk had already repeatedly signaled that this was unlikely to be a permanent solution. He expects to reduce his working hours at Twitter and hand over the leadership there over time, Musk said last month. The tech billionaire also heads other companies such as electric car maker Tesla and rocket company SpaceX. Among their investors, Musk's heavy involvement and ongoing turmoil on Twitter are causing resentment and fears that he is neglecting his other companies and damaging their reputations. Some key Tesla shareholders have already complained publicly that Musk's focus is too much on Twitter and that he is currently absent as the car company's CEO. Tesla shares are under pressure, with the stock down about 50% in three months. Musk's nearly two months so far as head of Twitter have been marked by chaos and controversy. After a series of highly controversial decisions, the headwind for the 51-year-old star entrepreneur has recently become stronger and stronger. The Twitter poll that he himself initiated on Sunday turned out to be quite clear. Of 17.5 million votes, 57.5% were in favor of the resignation. Musk had previously assured that he would abide by the result of the vote. Last week, the situation on Twitter escalated further and further. Musk blocked an account for tracking his private jet and later also temporarily blocked the user accounts of some US journalists. Further trouble was triggered by his plan to no longer allow users to advertise their presence on certain competitor platforms in the future, including Facebook, Instagram or Mastodon. Musk promised in another tweet on Monday night to let major policy changes also be decided by vote. The vote on his resignation as Twitter chief is not the first Paul Musk has had conducted on the internet platform. Last year, for example, Musk had a Twitter poll commit him to selling one-tenth of his Tesla shares. In November, he had a vote on whether former U.S. President Donald Trump should be allowed back on the short messaging service. Yes, he may, was the answer by a narrow majority, whereupon Twitter unblocked the account again. Trump had been banned from Twitter in the wake of expressions of sympathy for supporters who stormed the Capitol in Washington on January 6, 2021. Musk's Twitter purchase had caused much suspicion from the start. The multi-billionaire justified the acquisition as an action to strengthen free speech. Critics, however, feared a further brutalization of the internet platform and worried that the change in ownership could lead to more unbridled hate messages, agitation and disinformation. Musk did not succeed in allaying these concerns. On the contrary, he shook up the online network with a wave of terminations, erratic rule changes, and other explosive decisions, scaring away advertising customers, the most important source of revenue. Like, share, and subscribe for more.